state of Missouri, it's Doug Smith Day, as proclaimed by Governor John Ashcroft. And in ceremonies held just a moment ago, the governor made a presentation of that proclamation to the senior All-American Doug Smith. On the Doug, on behalf of the people of this state, it's my pleasure to thank you very much for coming back to Missouri for your senior year, for the excitement that you've brought. For the excellence you've brought to the basketball court and for the inspiration you've brought to the young people of this state by returning for your senior year of education, we thank you. We, we wish you the best of luck and God's richest blessings in your life. And our congratulations to Doug Smith receiving his plaque, the proclamation, alongside his Doug's mother. The lineups for tonight's game, Kevin Ellery, Damon Sweet, Keith Tower on the front line, Tim Singleton, and Elmer Bennett will be the guards for Notre Dame at 12 and 18. Missouri 16 and 10 with Smith, Coleman, Heller, Peeler, and Booker. Tower and Smith to go up here, Gary. I remember that Mark Dressler game. I remember sitting watching that down in Texas, and what a game he had. I think 13 out of 16 field goals. He was unbelievable. Singleton has the ball out front for the Fighting Irish. Again, the Irish cannot have a winning season. They win the rest of them. Damon Sweet puts the Irish on the board first. The Tigers would like a fast start here, Gary, because they remember what happened last year over in South Bend. Well, the thing about, uh, you see, uh, Notre Dame, they're going to be in a matchup zone, and they're going to want to play a half-court game against the Tigers. They want to let the Tigers get out and run. They want to keep it slow, probably a 60s to 70s game. Loose ball, and it belongs to the Tigers. Coleman, after it was swatted. Brooks Boyer is right. in the starting lineup. Got a hand on that one. That's a three. Melvin Booker puts the Tigers ahead by one. Well, that's his fourth three-point goal in the last three games. Now he had two at Kansas State and one against Colorado. Isn't it something how his confidence has picked up yeah. over the season? He's going to be at the free throw line. The great thing for him is the number of games and amount of minutes he's got to play as a as a freshman here for Norm Stewart. And this club is going to take time off the clock every time. They'll be able to run it down to 30 seconds. Boyer from the three-point line and he moved the pivot foot. Turnover, Fighting Irish, Missouri 3, Notre Dame 2 in the early going here in Columbia. With Gary Thompson, I'm John Rooney, and the Dean of Big 8 Coaches, Norm Stewart. In his 24th year at Mizzou, Degger Phelps is in his 20th year at Notre Dame. He's going to have only his third losing season. Doug Smith inside for Heller. 2 in Missouri. Chris Heller starting like he did at Kansas State last week. And I think there's something about that for him when he gets the first one down. Let's look and see if he has the good game. Boyer from the three-point line. He was on the line. It doesn't matter. The ball is slapped out to Ellery and the Fighting Irish got a new 45-second clock. Brooks Boyer, a freshman in that starting lineup tonight in place of Elmer Bennett who's been struggling shooting. Only four for 16 in a game against Louisville, which is on national television. No foul. Contact was made. The officials let it go. This is Tower. And towering for the rebound, Doug Smith. Who leads the Big A Conference now in scoring and rebounding after uh, Saturday's game with Colorado. Well, Colorado had a horrible shooting game, didn't the Buffalo? Yeah, and the Tigers didn't shoot that much better, but their defense was terrific. I know in that game, I said, well, it's not much of a game. And when you don't shoot well, you think that. When I watched the tape of it, that later that night, Missouri really played great defense. They just could not get the ball in the basket as far as offensively. Neither could Colorado. Heller with the ball off the Ellery miss. Tigers by three, 17-22 and counting in the first half. Doug Smith tried to give it back to Peeler and a foul on Anthony Peeler. That's the first in the ball game. Anthony, the 6'4 junior from Kansas City, Missouri. Looking at Anthony Peeler walking back after being called for the foul. Digger Phelps, the win in his coach, in Notre Dame history. Boy, he was intense at uh, practice, John. I, I could hardly get anything out of the guy. He was just, uh, he was into that game, and he's struggling. He's got a lot of pressure on him, too. Travel call. Another turnover for the Fighting Irish. He did state the obvious to you, though, that Doug Smith will be a lottery pick. I think that's a gimme. 
Yeah, I asked him to sum up the game. Well, Doug Smith, lottery pick, walked off. <laughs> Jamal Coleman, Big A Player of the Week. Around to Anthony Peeler. There's Heller, and he took a jump step. A little hop. You know, in a game like this, Doug Smith, for him, the only senior, going out. A lot of pressure in this game on him, Doug. Uh, introduced and uh, presented an award by the governor here prior to the game, so it's a big game, and great anticipation, I think, by all his fans for him to have a good game. Nice touch by Tower. Keith Tower scores his first basket, averaging 7.6 points a game. Missouri by one. A sellout crowd at the Hearn Center. Peeler for three, counted. Booker has a three, Peeler has a three, Heller has the other two. Well, well, Four-point Tiger lead, Gary. Right, and you think outside shooting loosens it up. I don't think you'll loosen up Notre Dame very much uh, out of that zone. They have to protect fouls, and uh, defensively, they're not very big. Out of bounds off Ellery. He touched the ball before Peeler got to it at the baseline. Peeler, Booker, along with Coleman, Doug Smith, and Chris Heller on the floor for the Tigers, a lead by four. See the zone, two, three matchup. They'll drop in the middle there. They'll they'll really load up on Smith and Peeler and try and make the other guys uh, beat them. And that's one Peeler of the guys on the lean in, and he can do it. Peeler can beat that zone and has scored five. Boyer out to Ellery. Boyer took a step, and Ellery looked like he was moving before, but they didn't. Third turnover for Notre Dame and timeout. Missouri from the field is four out of five. Two for six shooting for Notre Dame in the early going, and it's 10 for Missouri. This is a Notre Dame club, and four of their last five losses, they've shot under 40%. Keller for the dunk as he got inside that zone. Peter, the good pass. He's tied in this with assists with Booker right now, uh, starting this ball game. They each have 87. This is Singleton from the free throw line. The one thing that has kept Missouri going throughout the season, Gary, when the Tigers need to pick me up, they play great defense. Well, they're limiting their uh, the opponents 41.1% field goal shooting, and uh, that's something they've always done in Norm Stewart is play good defense. Ellery gets the basket in one, and a foul is called on Jamal Coleman. The first on Coleman, the second foul on Missouri. See what you think. Goes up, Coleman, or Coleman rather, from behind, and he says he didn't get him, but it looks like he did get him on the wrist. Let's see from another angle here. He might have hopped, and he gets him around the arm uh -huh. and again, and I think he did get him on the play. He may have fouled him the first time before the shot, but it goes as a basket and a free throw for Kevin Ellery, a senior from Springfield, Kentucky. It's a six-point Tiger lead. Now a five-point Tiger lead as Ellery completes the three-point play. This is what the Tigers would like to do right here is get up and run, but Notre Dame, a good job of hustling back on defense. Good ball movement for Missouri. There's Smith inside. Doug has missed two shots. Sweet really, find Singleton. Didn't really have his feet under him, kind of off balance, and he has struggled with the shot over the last couple, three games. Looks like Ellery, when he gets the ball, Gary walks most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> He's been called once for traveling. Notre Dame trails by five. That's Heller on tower. Here's Sweet. There's Sweet for an easy basket. He was in the right place. From the Hearn Center in Columbia, Missouri 12, Notre Dame 9, with 14.04 left in the first half. With Gary Thompson, I'm John Rooney. In our final SNI, the Zoo Sports Network game of the 1990-91 season. The Tigers move into the Big 8 tournament, play Iowa State Friday in Kansas City. Here's Peeler. Two shots coming up for Anthony Peeler. He's so strong, Gary, I was amazed he could get the ball away. He wanted to go to the free throw line. Gets the defensive man off balance, comes out, charges him, and tries to reach from behind. Like you said, had the strength. And you look at him, watch the ball, as he really just kind of flips it up at the basket. AP, Anthony Peeler, a 76% free throw shooter. He's on the line, sent there by Tim Singleton, who commits the first Notre Dame foul. Peeler has scored six already. This season average, 19.2. 
Missouri 13 to 9 over Notre Dame. And Missouri 13 and 4 with Peeler in the lineup. 3 and 6 when he's not playing. 7 for Anthony. The Tigers get back to their man to man. While Notre Dame has been playing a matchup zone. Forcing Missouri into a half court game so far. But I look for the Tigers to try to break out if they can get a missed shot. And get that running game going. Bennett finds Tower at the baseline. An air ball to Coleman. Now here come the Tigers. Doug Smith all the way. There it is, Gary. Bennett Smith right there. That's what they want to do. You've got to have some misses on this end so you can run. 16 to 9, Missouri with the lead, and Bennett on the outside for the Fighting Irish. Oh, how that Doug Smith can run the floor. That's the part of his game that amazes me, Gary. He can rebound and he can bang on the inside, but when he gets out in the open court, how he can handle the basketball and avoid a lot of charges. Yeah, that's right. I was going to say not only run the court, but handle the ball. Sweet for Bennett. Irish, they're just going to continue to take time. Shorten the game up. That's their game plan. There's Sweet. And here comes Doug Smith running the fast break. Booker lost it to Singleton. As Booker lost his footing. And on the fast break, Sweet for the basket. It was blocked by Heller. Tower. And he can't get it. Tower reached inside. Heller blocked another one. Tower from the baseline can't get it. What a great defensive stand by Heller and the Tigers. Out of bounds to Missouri. Good hustle by both kids. And Digger Phelps up and talking to his official. <laughs> he wanted to foul. So did Norm Stewart. <laughs> Look at this exchange. There is a ball tipped by Heller to begin with. Now Tower can't He's score. Down. Gets a little piece of it right there. Comes back. Gets Heller a piece, gets of, it piece again. of it again. <laughs> and now Tower, I think, with the air ball. <laughs> back the other way. Missouri makes it. Peeler with the 18 bucket. to 9 game, and Peeler has scored nine Missouri points and a timeout call by Notre Dame. Back to live action. Notre Dame with the ball trailing 18 to 9. And there's the field goal shooting so far. 15 shots now, 16 for Notre Dame. And the Irish can't connect. Here comes Coleman. Anthony Peeler with that stutter step move and lost the ball to Tower. Now Singleton pushes it up for the Irish. Tower out at the point. Go back to working the clock. Gallery likes to post up down low, but 6-5, he's found out that it's pretty tough down there, and he's got Doug Smith on him defensively right now. And Doug Smith is not the welcoming committee for the welcome wagon in there either. He's found that out. Digger Phelps getting that timeout, and I'm sure he's telling these guys, hey, slow it down, take your time, get the good shot, and run some clock. There was a good shot for Kevin Ellery. Give him five. Ellery can shoot the ball outside. In fact, he's one of their better uh, three-point shooters. Get out, get out. Doug Smith and Tower got up high enough to contest Doug's shot. Doug has only hit one field goal, and that was that dunk off the fast break. We said he's been struggling offensively. He's only hit 13 of his last 34 shots coming into tonight's game. That's 38%, and he's a 51% career shooter. Just let him get going. Let him hit a couple of shots, and sometimes uh, two, four turns into 20 points before you know it. He's that explosive a player. And now Missouri leads 18-11. 17 on the shot clock for David. Ellery for three. We mentioned about Kevin uh, Gallery being able to shoot the outside shot. He's shot 83-point shots, hit 28 of them for about 35%. Now it's an 18-14 Missouri lead. Notre Dame changing defenses, 1-3-1, one, one, and they'll give you a lot of different looks. They do it just to change up. They're not very strong clubs. They try and make you adjust to a lot of defenses. Good spin move. Bennett takes the shot. Didn't look like he wanted to, though, Gary. No, he did everything there well except get the ball to best. Good save by Peeler. Peeler <laughs> undercut Booker but made the great save, and now it's Anthony Peeler coming across midcourt. Boy, Digger lost his comb out on the... <laughs> he jumped up and down. He lost his comb out of his pocket. A three for Peeler. That's his second one tonight. And Anthony has hit 12 first-half points with 9.23 to go. 21-14 Missouri. The Tigers back in their man-to-man. -man. And there's Ellery, who has started the last 12 games for Notre Dame. 
The three-point shot has not been very good to Missouri over the year, and the fact they haven't shot it very much, uh, shooting about 29%, but here in the last three ball games, uh, they've been shooting it well. But through the month of December, the Tigers didn't have Peeler services. The three-point shooting started to pick up, and certainly has been helping Melvin Booker. He's been taking some more three opportunities. Here's Bennett for three. Heller and Tower get tangled up, and it's Tower with the foul. First foul on Tower. The second foul on the Fighting Irish. The team fouls are even at two with 8.46 left until halftime. And here's that save by Anthony Peeler. The thing about this is not only the good save, but the court awareness to, knew, to know that he had a teammate down there in the presence of uh, Heller in your seat, Digger. Jumping up and down, wanting the foul call. Good pass. Inside, it's Warren. Jeff Warren scores his first basket. 23-14, Missouri. Ellery is cut off by Smith at the free throw line. I like Norm Stewart's line about diving for the loose basketballs on the floor. Go ahead, get down there. You meet the most interesting people. <laughs> Oop, I was going to say, you got to talk to Booker. They set a screen on him. Back out for Singleton. And now Bennett at the three-point line. 19 on the shot clock. And the fans are chanting, boring, boring. Yep. Notre Dame's they're gonna, half court offense. They're going to see a lot of this, John. That's the only way Notre Dame feels like they've got a chance to even be in the ballgame in Missouri. Five on the shot clock. From the baseline, that won't go down for Sweet. Ellery throws it up for grabs. Anthony Peeler loses it out of bounds. It's Notre Dame's ball with a brand new 45 second clock. And Notre Dame will have the basketball after a timeout. Back to live action. Notre Dame can't get the shot down, and they don't use up much clock. Here's Anthony Peeler back to Coleman, and Jamal will bring it back out. Coleman's open. But he can't get that shot to go down from the baseline. Well, Coleman's been playing exceptionally well over the last 10 or about the last 10 games for Norv Stewart. Shooting well and rebounding well. Really doing a good job rebounding. Tex had career highs in the last two games, 13 and 15. Tower with the baseline jump, his second basket. They almost had that big kid benched. He was not playing well at all in December, and then Alfonso Ellis was ineligible. They brought him back in. And the second semester, he's really played well. Inside for Smith from a double team. He brings it back out. The one thing, they're doubling up on him, but Doug Smith, unselfish, is not forcing the shots. He's kicking it outside, and they're getting those outside shots now. Book it. Melvin Booker has two three-point baskets. 26-16, Missouri. The Tigers with their biggest lead in the first half. Really like the way Doug Smith is playing within himself and uh, taking what the game is giving him right now. You know, back at the beginning of the season, Gary, we talked about this at Kansas State. Doug was really pressing, trying to run the whole game for Missouri and got him into a lot of foul trouble. Tonight, he's just taking what the Irish are giving him. Singleton at the point. Now inside for Ellery. And he's not going to hit that shot. And there's Coleman again up on the glass. A nice pass by Peeler. And Booker moved the pivot foot. Substitution, John Ross comes in for Notre Dame. Just a pass to Booker, and they kind of lost the handle on the ball and then walked with it. I think it was just a little over anxious there as they had the defender coming to him, and he saw that he was going to have a chance to beat him. Tigers have turned the ball over five times. They now play man-to-man -man with 5.50 left in the first half. This is Tower. Tower has three field goals, and the Tiger lead is 26-18. I said he'd been playing well. He's been in double figures 10 of the last 15 games, only averaging 7-6, but over that 16-game stretch, he's averaged almost 11 points a game. See Notre Dame coming out a little higher now on the shooters as the Tigers have ripped them for about four three-point goals. Nice pass. Doug Smith inside for Jeff Warren. See what he's doing now. He's doing what the great players do. If they take you, they you give it to the other people. And he's making Notre Dame pay, in the, pay the price for doubling up on him. 
Singleton used an elbow, but no call. And you know the anniversary of Will Chamberlain's 100-point game in the NBA. There's been so much talk about that, but Chamberlain led the league in assists one year while with the Lakers, and he was doing the same thing that Doug's been doing tonight. That's a foul on Booker. Let's take a look at how Missouri is ta attacking Notre Dame's defense. You see Smith going down inside. They got the zone. Smith gets the ball. Watch they start. There goes a collapse on him, and then they leave the man wide open for the cut by Warren and the good pass. He's second in assists on this ball club. Warren out. Heller in. A change in the Missouri lineup. Singleton to inbound for the Fighting Irish. Heller is watching Tower now. Booker's with Singleton. The Tower a little more physical underneath than, uh, than Chris Heller. Here's Jamal Coleman with the rebound. He's averaging 6.3 a game. Anthony Peeler contested by Bennett out of the zone. Got a wobble right. call on Jamal Coleman. And how many of those have we had tonight already by both teams? These Big Ten officials are watching that closely. Cozen comes in now. Carl Cozen for Notre Dame. Well, six turnovers for the Tigers, three for Notre Dame. In Most fact, of those have been travel calls, not bad yes. passes. I was going to say, with Elmer Bennett not starting tonight, they do have one uh, junior coming off the bench, but the rest of these kids from Notre Dame are all freshmen. Tower on the turnaround. Eight first-half points for Keith Tower. Norm Stewart jumps off the bench, wanting better defense on Tower. Yeah, he's, he's saying, contest him. Don't let him just get the ball down there where he wants it. And Tower is feeling it right now. He's looking to be an offensive player. Anthony Peeler shoots for three. He's off the mark this time. He's sealing off of the rebound, Carl Cozen. There's Tower. And right in his face is Chris Heller. Cozen had just come in. Uh, Percentage-wise, hasn't shot the ball well, but has the capability of shooting the outside shot. In fact, he's put up more three-point shots than he has uh, regular shots. Reggie Smith, number four, will come off the Tiger bench. So will Jeff Warren. Warren will come back in the game at the next opportunity. Cozen for Tower. Tower stays right with him. Cozen gets the shot away because Coleman left him to double-team Tower. And a Notre Dame foul. Back to live action with Missouri ahead 28-20. And Warren back in the lineup. A little light with the shot and Tower with the rebound. Tower doing it all. He's been their leading rebounder 12 of the last 19 games and playing a very strong first half here for the Irish. Reggie Smith is guarding Singleton. Moves past that Cozen pick. John Ross. There was a walk there, too. They let it go. And there's a walk. We've got the twins in there. This John is not Joe Dallas. Ross. It's Joe Ross and John <laughs> Ross. Not John Ross Ewing. But <laughs> they are in and another traveling call. Here a walk, there a walk, everywhere a walk, walk almost in the first half tonight. Back to a half court offense with Notre Dame in the zone and Missouri on the attack. There's a walk. Boy. Well, they said there's going to be an emphasis on traveling, but I haven't seen it much this year until right now. This is something else. Booker in for Smith, a change in the Tiger lineup. Sweet comes back in. So it's Singleton, Bennett, Sweet, Ellery, and Tower. That's the five on the floor for the Fighting Irish. Peeler, Booker, Doug Smith, Warren, and Heller for the Tigers. Coming down to 210 left in the first half. And that won't fall. Doug Smith claims the rebound. Notre Dame has taken a lot of shots in the first half. And the Irish trail by eight. Booker for three. Saved by Warren for Doug Smith. Boy, the Tigers are active tonight. Peeler out at the point. Doug Smith from the baseline. There is a save for Heller, and he's going to be on the line. Good catch of the ball by Chris Heller as he made his cut to the basket. He was fouled by Keith Tower. Two fouls on the Fighting Irish Jr. Good ball moved by Missouri to Smith. You see him look at three guys coming down now. He gets the pass deflected this time, but a good catch there by Heller, and he takes it up in one motion, draws the foul on Keith Tower. That could be crucial. 
Heller misses his first free throw. He is a 50% shooter for the season, 14 of 28. So that means he'll hit this one right here. No. But a nice Boy. rebound inside by Warren, a one-hand rebound, and he scores oh, what it. what a play. Did he suck that out of there, one-handed on that rebound, and then put it up with a little English? Warren has six points. That's his season average. Ellery out at the point. Missouri ducking down a little bit now. At least Warren has trying to help on Tower when he gets down low. Like I say, he's more physical than Chris Heller, so Tower uh, pushing on him and uh, gaining an advantage. Damon Sweet for Keith Tower. Now out high for Bennett. 17 on the shot clock. Singleton, a good assist man. The defensive player does not look to shoot that much. And this guy's struggling, Bennett, struggling with the shot. Under a minute to go. Mizzou by 10. We're in the first half. A foul. Doug Smith and Tower tangle up. That's on Doug Smith. The first for Doug, the fifth for Missouri. And Notre Dame's ball out of bounds. Jamal Coleman will come back in for Norm Stewart. 43.9 seconds left in the half. Bowman and Peter out. Out front now for Notre Dame, Elmer Bennett. And Bennett gives it up to Singleton, who's watched by Melvin Booker. We have a foul away from the ball. And it's called against Warren. Or no, correction. The foul is on Damon Sweet. He fouled Warren, and Warren will be on the line with 30.5 seconds left in the half. Correction. No, nope. It's only five team fouls. Only five. Neither team is close to the bonus. Both clubs with five. And, but this is a big turnover right here because it gives Missouri a chance to hold for the last shot. Could go in here by 12 or 13. So Missouri will hold for the last shot. Down to 20 seconds. You see the clock in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Missouri is trying to build on its 10-point lead. Notre Dame in actually a 1-1-3 zone right now. Booker for Doug Smith. Over Tower. That's the patented Smith shot. Get it on the baseline, turn, and put it down. And that's the half. The Missouri Tigers enjoy a 12-point lead. The Missouri fans are very, very grateful that Doug chose Missouri. And here's Doug Smith shooting to begin the second half, and Heller with the rebound. Oh, what a side. pass. Doug Smith Woo. with the dunk on the great behind the back. No look pass by Heller. You know what? I'm sure that Norm Stewart coming out of that halftime says, let's try and get Doug Smith the ball on the first possession. Doug missed the shot, but Heller made sure that Doug was going to get that first basket of the second half. One of the finest assists we've seen this season. Heller will tell, be telling the guards about that after this ball game. Hey, you want to see how it's done, guys? <laughs> Nothing to it. Look. The no-look pass. A terrific play. Now Doug plays Ellery for the Fighting Irish. Knowing Norm Stewart, now what he's going to tell Chris, he's not going to let him relax. He's going to say, get tough on that tower down inside. Singleton misses the shot. Here come the Tigers in the running game. Doug Smith for Anthony Peeler. He's fouled. Yeah. Woo! I mean, have we seen a couple of plays here to start the second half? The foul was on Kevin Ellery, his first. Peeler knew he was going to get hit. He just let the ball fly, but watch this. This versatility uh, say, almost loses a handle on it. His second assist, and then Peeler with another great move. And look at his concentration. He's still watching that ball as he goes down. Anthony Peeler for the three-point play. He looks for his 15th point of the game. Count it. Gets one the conventional way for a change. <laughs> 15 for AP. Missouri's lead is 37-20, their biggest of the night. Sweet from a double team around to Singleton. Anthony Peeler goes for the steal. It's out of bounds. Missouri's ball off Notre Dame. Well, Anthony Peeler knew what he was doing because he let it go and he said, our ball, I wasn't sure whose it was. Brooks Boyer, who started the game, he'll come in for Tim Singleton. Now, December 1st, Tim Singleton had some back problems, and the Irish went two and four in his absence, and then the loss of 
LaFonso Ellis was big as he had some academic problems and was declared ineligible. That really turned Notre Dame's season. And that's academic ineligibility by Notre Dame standards for LaFonso Ellis. Out of bounds, the ball belongs to the Fighting Irish and the Tigers led by their All-American, Doug Smith. They just don't quit. They stay busy. They fly all over the court. Side sweep. Did he walk? The officials say no. Six points for Damon Sweet. Sweet, the leading scorer, averaging 16.6, and the, the Tigers really controlled him in the first half. Anthony Peeler low for Heller. Heller's doing a great job of passing tonight, so is Doug Smith. Peeler will bring it back out. 30 on the shot clock. Here's Heller. Inside for Jamal Coleman's turnaround. Counted. Boy, good movement on the offensive end there by the Tigers. Moving the ball, moving themselves, playing without the basketball. Now all of the Tigers starters have scored. Six for Booker, 15 for Peeler, two for Coleman, six for Smith, and Heller has scored four. There's Heller inside. Well, the Tigers coming out sharp here at the start of the second half. Doug Smith, showtime. Boy, the crowd loves that. Booker with the assist, and Doug Smith with the slam. 41-22, and the Tigers are blowing this game wide open. They remember last year, Gary, Doug Smith in particular. The Tigers didn't like going over to Notre Dame and losing. I think that was the start of a three-game skip for Missouri with that loss at Notre Dame. That's Tower scoring for double figures now, 10 points. Notre Dame beat Missouri March 3rd, 98-67. 61% field goal shooting, only nine turnovers. Oh. And inside, the Tigers get another bucket. Heller has scored six. I mean, it just passing's incredible. Yeah. The There's three try won't, won't go for Boyer. Jamal Coleman is called for the foul. And Sidorota ever stares him down. Boy, I. He, he gave it up. Side, watch this. Up underneath, here's Smith on the give off right there. He slams it home. Now, here's the Heller basket after the pass by Doug Smith. Wide open for Heller. Now, back to live action. The fans were quite upset on that foul called on Jamal Coleman. So was Coleman. Boyer. Cozen is in the game, number 50. That's Tower from the free throw line. That's a three for Bennett. That's the first basket for Elmer Bennett tonight. And we said he's been struggling uh, offensively. In fact, didn't start tonight because of that. They started Brooks Boyer, a freshman. Boyer in there right now, number 15. Oh, good pass by Peeler. But a good double team by the Fighting Irish. So back out of come. Cozen, Tower, Ellery packing it back. Anthony Peeler cut off by Tower and Ellery, and right there's Coleman. Boy, they're attacking the middle of that zone. Guarding Bennett now. It's Melvin Booker. Smith is with Ellery. Bennett over Booker. The long rebound for Heller of the Tigers. Booker for Doug Smith, well, and that. there's Anthony Peeler. I could read his mind. You just get to read him after you've seen him play while well, you knew that as soon as it hit his hands it was coming right back he knew, you right knew he point. wouldn't shoot the ball Gary. Right. time out time out with 15 25 left in the game watch this play for missouri and there's doug smith with the pass to the wide open anthony peeler and here's the tiger bench reaction <laughs> they love it over there Back to live action, Ellery tries to take the ball inside and gets fouled. Ellery will be shooting two. Jamal Coleman fouled him, and that's three fouls on the Tiger Jr. And here's the last foul, Gary. Almost like a travel. Does a good job of taking the ball away from him. Coleman gets the ball, but evidently gets him down low with the body before he got into the active shoot, or as he was going up. He's going to get the two free throws. Kevin Ellery with two shots. He has nine points. Ellery is a 75% shooter. Time called with Warren coming in for Jamal Coleman. And 
and John Ross is in for Cozen. Carl Cozen goes to the bench. Coleman failed to score in that first half, but did have the five rebounds. And Notre Dame's lost to Louisville Saturday. This fellow, Ellery, had 12 rebounds. A career high. Now Ellery has scored 10. Notre Dame trails 47-29. 15-10 left to play. Missouri led at the half, 32-20. And opened up a 20-point lead in no time at all here in the second half. Tigers moving the basketball well, and which has opened up with that movement to uh, the inside game where they get it from the outside. There's Heller. Basket and one for Chris Heller on the miss by Peeler. Tigers are aggressive in the second half. There you see the grab and has the strength to take it up off the glass. Heller will go to the line for the three-point play. The foul is on Brooks Boyer. That's his first. Two team fouls each way in the second half. Now Heller to the line where he's 0 for 2 tonight. He does have eight points. Nine points. Bennett to the front court for the Fighting Irish. This is Tower. He has nothing over Heller, so he fans it back out for Bennett. Takes a lot of discipline now by Notre Dame, who wants to play a half-court game and keep it slowed down, not to get into the up-tempo game when they're down by 21. If it's a tight game, Gary, then that's fine. Eat up a lot of the clock and then make sure you hit your shot. But right now, Notre Dame is way behind in this one. Now Missouri can take its time. John Burns. Here's Booker. Burns is in the tackle. Let him. Booker hits a three, his third of the night. Booker averages 8.1 points a game. He has nine right here against the Irish. Well, you know, Booker is act actually looking for shots now when that ball is reversed or comes to him. He used to get it and hesitate. Now he's just taking everything in stride and right in rhythm and actually looking for the shot. Burns is, is on Boyer. Booker is on Bennett. This is Bennett. Good job of Peter staying down defensively. Ellery takes it all the way in and goes out of bounds. Great job by Anthony Peter. Digger Phelps wanted a foul, and he's not going to get it. Digger Phelps, 21 years as a head coach. After a 26-3 record at Fordham, he took over the Fighting Irish at Notre Dame. And has won 393 games. Burns hits a three. The crowd will love that. Six twenty-nine, Missouri, and this sellout crowd is having a great time tonight. Ellery for three. Doug Smith pokes it out of bounds. It goes off the Irish goal, and it's Missouri's ball. Sweet and Singleton come back in for the Fighting Irish. Boyer goes out, and so does Joe Ross. Saw the entire. Tiger coaching staff along with Norm Stewart there, Rich Daly, Bob Sunville, Dwight Evans. They got to be happy right now the way they come out and played this second half. They're happy with the first half because they played solid basketball. Boy, it was a complete half for yeah. Missouri. Doug Smith. Ten for Doug. 58-29, Mizzou. Let's see how quick Notre Dame puts the ball up. They put it up quick the last possession. They say when you get down this far and then the Missouri crowd into this ball game. The tendency is to get the ball up. Late whistle on Heller who fouled Keith Tower. First foul on Heller. Two shots for Tower. Tower will be on the line for the first time tonight. Norm Stewart coming out and talking to Chris Heller. He says good job but keep your hands up. Don't get the foul. Make him shoot it in. Norm is coaching in his 852nd game as a college head coach. There's only two coaches, Wilkes at, Stet, uh, at Stetson and Dean Smith, who have coached more games and that are active coaches right now. Here's Keith Tower. Warren will come back in from Missouri after the free throw. Tower, a 65% shooter, 0 for 1 tonight. Warren in, who's coming out? John Burns comes out after hitting a three.
<laughs> Look at Burge. You think he is a tickle that we hit that three point shot and the and the bench is tickled for him too. March madness for John Burns after that three. <laughs> now the second free throw for Tower in play. 12.43 to go in the game. Tower scored 11. Doug Smith for Anthony Peeler, and here come the running Tigers. Chris Heller has 11. But again, not to overemphasize Smith, but credit to Smith. The first pass that he made out here set up the advantage on this end. This place was going wild now. Well, this is what you think about playing your last home game for Doug Smith and uh, for the crowd to go out like this. That ball was kicked. New 45 second clock as the ball went off Booker's foot. This is what you talked about, Gary. There was that first pass by Smith, and then Peeler does the rest, finding Heller wide open. And you see the mismatch down there on that end, and that's what set it up was that pass. A long shot for Bennett goes. That's a three. He has two three-point baskets. See, if he does, going back to that pass, if he doesn't make it, he catches it, comes down and dribbles once. That allows the defense who are running to catch up. A foul. Keller will shoot two after being fouled by Damon Sweet. Uh, Doug Smith has 10 points, five rebounds, and we don't have a number on his assist. But he might be pretty close to double figures. A foul inside, a Missouri foul. That's on Doug Smith, his second. Missouri has 14 fouls in the second half. John Missouri in his second half, 12 for 15 from the field. Notre Dame a respectable four for nine, but the Tigers just running him out of the gym. Sweet. Anthony Peeler with the rebound. I've been told they only have Smith for one assist. Doug loses the handle. Pass just a little bit behind Doug, and he was going to go to the other man in the lane that was filling. Well, they had three assists for Doug at halftime on the official stats. And he's got two or three so far in this act. Of course, it's those lead passes for Doug. But he doesn't get credit for the assist. That's right. Peeler or someone else will get them. Here's Bennett, way off the mark on that. Anthony Peeler runs it down. And as we said, Notre Dame opening up. There's the pass again. Oh, boy. Near assist. Back the other way, Singleton for Notre Dame. I looked for a reaction from Heller. I thought he got fouled, but he didn't react as if he got fouled. Bennett misses the three try. Ellery with the rebound at the baseline, and he goes out of bounds. Missouri 62, Notre Dame 33. With 10 43 left to play in the second half. Smith still doubling down on Smith and that leaves that shot open a three for Melvin Booker his four give him 12 all of his scoring involving three-point shots 65 33 Gary and there's I've oh, got towers yes he's able to hit that shot though he's playing an excellent ball game oh nice move he gets that down wouldn't go tower rebounds Warren knocks it away. Anthony Peeler messes up the play some. Still Notre Dame's ball. This is Sweet. Eight for Damon Sweet. Under 10 minutes to go in the second half. Missouri 65, Notre Dame 37. Our final SNI Mizzou Sports Network telecast for the season. Warren can't handle it out of bounds. It's Missouri's ball. And Jamal Coleman re-enters the game for Missouri. Heller out, Coleman in. Way out it comes to Melvin Booker. Booker and Coleman play catch in the backcourt. Trying to spot up more now is a little tougher on the shooter when he gets the ball, but there's Booker wide open. Booker passed up the opportunity for a three. Nine on the 
the shot clock. This is as much time as Missouri's used off the clock all night. Smith in the lane. A little too light with that one. Ellery for Singleton. Inside tower, and he walked with the ball and got away with it. Nice job to take it underneath, though, and uh, he's the basket as a defender. Not sure, but it looked like he moved his pivot foot. Nonetheless, Tower has 15 tonight. Give and go from Smith to Coleman. Count it. Six for Coleman, maybe seven. He'll go to the line. Tower with the foul is third. Watch the play again here as they come in. Here's Smith. Here's Coleman on the give and go. The little shovel pass. Bobbles a little bit. Able to regain it. Takes it up off the glass. Third personal foul on Keith Tower. Mizzou with 14 fouls in the second half. Notre Dame with three. Three-point play for Coleman. He has seven. Well, as we said, really been playing well as a big eight player of the week. Had two good games, 17 points and 13 rebounds against Kansas State and 14 and 15 against Colorado to earn those honors. A foul in the lane. Anthony Peeler is whistle for... Well, Peter comes in there and it gives him a little bump, I think, with the body where the call was made. In fact, the foul is on Jeff Warren, his call on Warren. Mm -hmm. Boyer for Singleton. And that's a steal for Jamal Coleman, held ball. Notre Dame's basketball. The possession arrow favors the Fighting Irish right now. And Coleman, that's another area. His aggressive play over the streak where he's been playing so well is in steals. He's had 19 steals over the last seven games, and I remember a career high five at Iowa State. Singleton steps up. Boyer can't quite find a handle on the ball. He wants that three shot, but has put it on the floor the last two times he's handled the ball. Tower with 30 on the shot clock. And an interception by Peeler. A steal. Getting it right back is on the Bennett. A foul on Doug Smith. He fouls Singleton. Offensive foul on Singleton. We were blocked out, but I'm guessing what happened that he used, he used an, an arm. arm and an elbow to, to ward Smith off. Let's see if we can see here. Here's Singleton. Goes up and takes the elbow right out of there and knocks Smith out of there. 68-39 Missouri. 7.50 and counting in the second half. For the Tigers, Coleman, Peeler, Reggie Smith, Doug Smith, and Jeff Warren on the floor. That's Warren with the ball. Boy, their ball movement's been good in the second half. Throughout the game, here. And yeah, really there, but exceptional, I think, in the second half. They I'll just... agree. Reggie Smith. Jamal Coleman. It popped out. <laughs> Warren stays with it, but there's Boyer and a reach in on Doug Smith, his third. Third foul on Doug Smith. Saw that action up there. Coleman, I think, had the basket and he was hanging on it. He sprung the rim back up and it popped the ball back out. 16 fouls on Missouri, three on Doug Smith, and Doug's going to get a rest. Back to live action, Jamal Coleman gathers it in for Missouri, Gary. John, if that holds on the three-point shooting, it'll be only the second time this year that Missouri has outshot an appointed opponent from the three-point line. The other time was against Nebraska here. That takes a lot for those young players to get the confidence to shoot from that range. Well, we've talked a lot about Booker uh, here in the last couple, three games, but that's exactly it. There it is again. 20 now for Peeler, and that's his third three-point basket. Anthony has had that kind of confidence to shoot the ball ever since he got to Missouri. But for another player coming in, getting used to Norm's system, as Norm really wants his players disciplined on offense and defense, some players will start looking over the shoulder if they miss a few of those. But Norm has been telling them, take the shot. If you have it, don't pass it up. And Booker has really improved. Pretty good ball movement there by the Irish. But nothing comes of it. Booker's all over the place. So is Reggie Smith. Doug Smith, when he's been in there tonight, has been so active in the Tigers' man to man. There's a steal for Warren. Coleman. Coleman stays with it. No foul call. Heller might have got hacked by Tower. I think so, but no whistle. Here's Boyer. Boyer. Can shoot it. And Coleman can rebound it. 
We definitely know that after uh, 13 and 15 uh, rebound performances in the last two games. Bowman's at the three-point line, so is Smith. Reggie Smith, a freshman. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We said the Irish, they're 1-3-1 now. They've been changing up defenses uh, all night, but nothing has bothered the Tigers. Warren can't handle it. There's Tower for the Irish. <laughs> There's Peeler for the Tigers. Well, he's fifth all time at Missouri right now. Career steals and assists. And look who's there for Missouri. Warren just takes it away from Boyer. They are just out hustling the Irish from Notre Dame. They're getting all the loose balls. Doug Smith will come back in in a moment for Mizzou. There's Reggie Smith. There's Jamal Coleman. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. Jamal's been having a heck of a time on the, trying to get that ball in. He's knocking, but no one's opening the door for him. Yet. Here it comes. Reggie Smith with the shot. He says, let me in on the action. Doesn't get it down, but Coleman charging the boards hard. Misses it, but gets the foul. Four fouls on Tower. He comes out. John Ross. Or excuse me, it's Joe Ross who has come back in, along with Carl Cozen for the Fighting Irish. Coleman has another one coming. Smith back in the basketball game. The next time he leaves, John, it may be the curtain call for him here at Missouri on the, on the home court. Paul Coleman has scored eight. He goes one for two on that trip. Missouri 72, Notre Dame 39. Reggie Smith can't quite take it away. Elmer Bennett for the Fighting Irish with Doug Smith out there hounding it. And then Reggie Smith says, well, keep him. <laughs> Switch men. Sweet. And there's Heller from his hood. Reggie Smith penetrates. Jamal Coleman scores it this time, Gary. He finally gets it down. He's been struggling in there. You don't succeed the first, second, or third time, you're good at the fourth. Another player in double figures. All the starters are in double figures tonight for Missouri. And Warren is two baskets away from reaching double figures. Goes him back out for Boyer, and there's Sweet. The basket by Ross, his first. Doug might try a three-pointer. He hit one against Colorado. He's one for 12 for that three-point area this year. There's Pe Peeler, and he's feeling it. He sure is. 23 points for Peeler. Four three-point baskets for Peeler, four for Booker tonight. Well, Peeler has been struggling a little bit with the shot, and it's a good time to get it back right before you go to the Big 8 tournament. Frazier will come in from Missouri, so will Jed Frost. The foul was on Reggie Smith. Stopping the clock at 3.35 to play. Reggie Smith out. Frazier and Frost in. Jamal Coleman comes out for Missouri. coming up now for Elmer Bennett. He has seven for Notre Dame. Notre Dame at 12 and 18 coming in tonight. Trailing 77-42. 77-43. Eight points for Elmer Bennett. But double figure scoring tonight for Missouri. Booker 12, 23 for Peeler, 10 for Coleman, 10 for Smith, 13 for Heller. We'll be right back on the Mizzou Sports Network. Notre Dame foul as we get back to live action. Carl Cozen is first, sending Anthony Peeler to the line, and both teams are in the one and one with 334 left to play. Notre Dame's low water mark for the season as you take a look at the Tigers head coach Norm Stewart. A 70 to 46 loss against Temple. Now back on the 5th of January, Notre Dame lost to North Carolina 82-47. Right now they're trading 77-43 to Missouri. As Anthony Peeler connects on a free throw. He's four for four from the line. Four three-point field goals, 24 points overall. Boyer, Carl Cozen, 
Gibson. Missed steal by Jed Frost. Oliver Gibson couldn't find the middle. Out of your oh! one handed. Wow, what a play. He worked. He waved it off. Oh, that's too bad. Take a look at this. This is great anyway. Peeler is looking for him all the way. Peeler could make the basket, but he waits and puts it up. Oh, oh, close. Oh, that's really close. Official came over to Norm and says, I can't help it. And Norm, I got to call it. It's in the cylinder. Might have overlooked this one with the score no the way it is. They waved that basket off. Now here's Doug Smith. Jed Frost can't come back to get it out of bounds off Notre Dame. That was pretty though, wasn't it, Gary? Yes, oh, man. Doug Smith will inbound. This is his night. He has scored 10 points. He shoots for three. Toes and rebounds. That won't go to the baseline, but oh, listen to the fans now as Carl Cozen gets the footback. They want the same call. Doug Smith. Way out for Anthony Peeler. Peeler penetrates this time. And a push foul is called on Anthony Peeler. That's his second. So we'll go to the other end of the court. And Derek Dunham will come in for Missouri. Peeler really looking for Smith on the last uh, couple of possessions. They're trying to get something going for him, give him some more points. Derek Dunham in for Missouri. Derek, a 6'7 freshman from Jerseyville, Illinois. Earlier, John Burns, a sophomore from Johnny Mission, Kansas, got in and scored a three. Jermaine Wilkins will be coming in for Mizzou as well. Talk about on selfies. I'm reading Doug Smith's lips, and he's coming up the court to Norm and says, let some of the other guys play. Let some of the other guys play. And Norm comes out, and he talks to him kind of suddenly. I think what he's saying, Doug, I'm going to get you out when the time's right here. Anthony Peeler comes out. Wilkins in. That's Doug Smith stalking the court here in Columbia. 2.22 to go, Missouri 79, Notre Dame 46. Oliver Gibson with a second shot. That's volleyed to Joe Ross, who's picked clean. Here comes Lamont Frazier. Doug Smith is running the court. He shoots for three. Oh, he may, he may come now. He may come. I don't know. 13 points for Doug Smith. And this place is going wild again. Not a bad one to remember for your last bucket and your last home game. Joe Ross is fouled. The foul is on Doug Smith, who's being congratulated by his teammates. The fourth foul on Doug, but he caps off his home performance at Missouri with a three-point field goal. Smith's last basket at Missouri. He's had one in each of the last two games, and there he is, Mr. Smith. It's a free throw, by the way. He hit two and has four points. On the other end, a rebound by Oliver Gibson. Who cares about the remaining 142 after that basket by Doug Smith and the, and the warm, warm reception by the Missouri fans. Closing off the miss. This is Jed Frost. Off Dunham, over to Notre Dame with 127 left to play. 
John Burns back in. He has three points. Lost out. Fans are still standing, Gary. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a tribute to this young man here who came back, could have gone to the professional route, came back, played out his senior year, and has just done a magnificent job and an unselfish effort here tonight in the last home game. Wilkins and a blocking foul is called on Boyer. He didn't quite know what to do with Wilkins. Set up for a charge or try to move and block him off, and he got called for the blocking foul. Mizzou and Big 8 records have belonged to Doug Smith. Look at the list. Eighth in Big 8 conference career rebounding, 10th in career scoring, only the third Big 8 player to go over 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds, Danny Manning and Wayman Tisdale, the others. He actually moves into six in all-time rebounding tonight with those, I think he had five rebounds, or he'll, he'll be in, uh, actually in seventh place. He needed one more to move to six. He'll Gibson get that. with the three. He has scored four points now. A minute to go in Columbia. Just saw the score, 82-51 Missouri. Jim Horton's in the lane. There's a travel call. We haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> we saw plenty in the first half, didn't we? We sure did. Norm Stewart taking in the remaining 42 seconds. Along with Bob Sunbold. Gibson will shoot it. He's a walk-on uh, outside linebacker on the football team. <laughs> Missouri's ball with 29.3 seconds left. Doug Smith and the Tigers will take their show on the road to the Big 8 tournament in Kansas City Friday to play Iowa State at 1 o'clock. Frazier. Lamont Frazier's on the scoreboard. We're coming down to 10 seconds left. That's a three for Boyer. His only basket tonight. Wilkins. And in the volley, that's the game. Congratulations to Doug Smith, who finishes his home career at Missouri with 13 points, capping off his effort with a three-point basket. We thank you. We've taken good care of him. And we'll continue to do that, and we welcome you anytime to the University of Missouri. Doug, thank you. I want to present our athletic director, Dick Tamburo, who has some special remarks. Thank you, Norm. You know, Doug, there's only so many things people can say about it. All the contributions you've meant to the University of Missouri and the athletic department, and it's with a great pleasure with the recommendation of Coach Stewart, the approval of the Intercollegiate Athletic Board, and the endorsement of Chancellor Monroe that we take this great honor and retire number 34 in your honor. How about that, Gary? That's just not a great feeling of that. Uh, I was fortunate to have that happen to me at Iowa State. You can't believe what's going through him right now. I'm feeling it myself right now. It brings back some feeling. And to see that happen for him, and there's something about an S here at Missouri with retired numbers. You've had Willie Smith and Sunbolt Stepanovich. Stopper, wasn't it? Stopper. Bill Stopper, and number Barry 43. Jesus. Yeah. So up in the rafters goes number 34. John Sunbolt, number 20. Willie Smith, number 30. Now Doug Smith, number 34. Steve Stepanovich, number 40. Bill Stopper, number 43. And I saw Sam Stepanovich over in the end zone just to our right before the game tonight. He still comes to a lot of ball games. Boy, those were great memories with those teams with John Sunbold and Steve Stepanovich. And it's only fitting tonight that Doug Smith has his number 34 jersey hanging in the rafters here at the home center. Now Doug Smith. First, first of all, you know, I want to thank uh, all the fans and Coach Daly, Coach Sambu for sticking behind us and uh, Coach Stewart for recruiting me, Coach Daly, um, my mom, all my relatives. Uh, oh yeah, later for y'all. No, really, I, I want to thank all my teammates, you know, for uh, the four years and a couple of guys that I played with one year. You know, I came back to have fun with these guys and it's just been fun for me. And uh, I just want to thank you all again. You know, we just got to go back and get them in the Big A tournament. 